Hi guys, as you know that the uh, iPhone 4S and the iPad 2 jailbreak uh, untethered has finally been released. Um, I'm going to show you a quick video on uh, how to use it on my iPad 2. Um, I've currently already jailbroken my iPhone 4S this morning, which took about 6-7 minutes, so it's quite a fast process. Um, so let's go uh, through this quite quickly. Um, as you know, you need to find the... Um, Absinthe um, download, which you can find on the dev blog. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to extract the file once you uh, download it there. Unzip it, extract the Absinthe folder. Once that's open, you want to click on the Absinthe. Click yes. You can shut that down so it's more near. And obviously plug in your iPad or your iPhone 4S. It detects it, which you can see there, iPad 2. With the firmware, um, as you can see, with my uh, iPad 2 here. I just want to show you guys that it's not actually jailbroken at the moment. Uh, as you can see, there's no Cydia uh, or anything like that. So let's put it down to one side. So what you want to do now is, uh, as you can see, it says jailbreak. So basically, all you need to do is click jailbreak. Let me see if I can get closer so you guys can see what's going on there. So it's going to run through the process. Um, your iPad will come up. Quickly show you into a restore, which you can see there. Just restoring. Don't panic. Don't uh, unplug it at any stage at all until a job break is complete. Okay. So let me see what my iPad too. So now it's gone off. As you can see behind, it's still uh, waiting for the reboot. So there we go, you can hear it. And there comes the uh, Apple sign. As you can see on the actual Chronic Dev app, it tells you obviously it's not been done yet and do not unplug the device. That is very, very important. As you can see, let's see if I can come back a bit. So as you can see, the iPad is rebooted and it's just uh, preparing the jailbreak data to be uh, put onto the iPad 2. Let me put my iPad 2 down for a minute. So sending the payload data to your device, um, it can take a while, uh, but so far it's been quite fast for my iPhone 4S and I'm guessing it'll be the same for my iPad 2. There's a lot of people that say there are have problems, but um, so far, touch wood, I haven't. So there you go. Um, as you can see, it's been done. If you can see the instructions, um, all you need to do is unlock the screen uh, on my iPad 2. So slide to unlock, tap on the jailbreak icon, and uh, that should be it. So what we'll do is we'll zoom back out again. I'll open up my uh, iPad. Uh, slide to unlock, as it said. Now you need to go and find Cydia. Uh, if you've got a lot of home uh, pages, a lot of icons and you've got six or seven, it can be any, on any home screen. It doesn't have to be right at the end. Uh, it can be put anywhere. So just double check and make sure you can find it. Uh, so as you can see, the Absinthe icon, which I think is a pretty cool icon, is uh, there on the far hand right hand side. What you want to do is that you want to click on the Absinthe. And then you'll get a screen like that. Absinthe is now setting things up. Please stand by. As you can see, it's just a uh, reboot itself. And hopefully, when it turns back on, you should um, be able to see the uh, Cydia icon in its same place that the uh, Absinthe icon was there. So uh, wherever you found this Absinthe icon, um, it should be in the same place. Right, so let's, uh, there we go. Again, as you can see, it's quite a uh, fast process. Um, I know um, on the actual day of the release, it was quite slow, hence why I waited two days afterwards to make sure any bugs, updates are released. 
and therefore it's going to be a smooth uh, gel break. So as you can see, it's uh, uploaded itself. Uh, all we need to do now is slide to unlock. Uh, go and find Cydia, which you can there see is in the uh, right hand corner. Click on that. Obviously it's going to start to prepare the actual file system on your device for Cydia. Uh, so once this is done, uh, it will reboot your device. Um, this took about one or two minutes on my iPhone 4S. Um, so hopefully it shouldn't take that long on my iPad 2. Uh, basically it's just setting up Cydia on your desktop and all the uh, packages. And once again I'm using this on the uh, Absinthe Windows, not Mac. As you can see there, it's uh, rebooting itself. Uh, as you can see, so we'll go to slide to unlock. Again, uh, you want to go and find Cydia again, which is going to be in my uh, second page far right hand corner. You want to tap on Cydia, and then it will ask who you are. Um, if you're a novice um, at jailbreaking and um, you don't know exactly um, everything about jailbreaking, I'll just go and press user. Um, but I uh, I think I know enough to uh, have a um, developer, so click that, done, and again you click uh, user and then done, and there we go. Uh, City is loaded, as you can see it's uh, pretty damn fast. Um, I'm going to scroll right down to the end and as you can see, um, my iPad 2, 5.0.1, uh, City 1.1.4. Um, so that's the actual process from start to finish. Um, I hope that uh, it's been quite simple to follow and if you've got any problems just uh, drop them in the comments um, and please yes please share.